Well, King, you really know how to show a girl a good time. It was just dinner and a movie. How was I to know that he'd get upset? Big Hugh's got a thing about guys dating his girl. There's not much we can do now, Joe. Well, Rita, how about one for the road? Did you hear that? Hear what? Sparky? You know him? Don't just stand there, guys. We gotta get out of here before Big U catches on. Too late. I'm one step ahead of you. Gentlemen, kill them! Hey, watch where you put those hands, Buster. Get them! And I want them dead. This time. That was close. I gotta hand it to you, King. You certainly know how to end the night with a bang. Shoot. I almost forgot. I have to pick up Faye Russell, the famous movie star, in less than eight hours. Let's go, Sparky. Will I ever see you again? Only if you're lucky. <laughs> Wait here, Sparky. I'll go upstairs and get Miss Russell. Anderson, what are you doing here? And where's Miss Russell? You fool, King! Did you really think that I would let you fly Faye Russell, the most beautiful actress of our time? Into the Amazon jungle? Uh, um, well, yeah. I won the contract fair and square. <laughs> You're more gullible than I imagined. Quit kidding, Anderson. I gotta fly her out before the storm hits. I got my plane all gassed up and ready to go. Not this time, King. I will have the money and the girl. But, but she's my favorite actress. Besides, if I don't get the money, I could lose my plane. That's less competition for Flying Dutchman Airlines. I will fly Faye to the Amazon for her photo shoot, and I will get all the glory. Soon, I will rule the skies! Hey, you can't do that. I just did. Now try and get out of this one, King. See you later! I've got a plane to catch! <laughs> it's locked. <sighs> My one chance to meet the most beautiful actress in all the world has just been shot down in flames. And here I am trapped in a cheap theater hotel in downtown Rio. Guess I should try and find a way out of here.
should do the trick. That doesn't seem to work. Hey, you. Who? Me? Yeah, you. You are supposed to be upstairs. Ain't he supposed to be upstairs? I don't know how you got out of your room, King. But this time I'm gonna make it difficult for you to leave the hotel. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? Take my clothes from me? Don't worry, King. We'll take good care of your clothes. Hey, guys, don't leave me here. Me and my big mouth. Hello. I'm Mike Laris, the bellboy. How may I help you? Is there a back way out of this joint? Ah, oh, it's just the front entrance. That's the only way in and the only way out. Why do you want to know? I like to work out escape routes in case of fire. Oh. Well, if there's a fire, you'll have to leave by the front door. About that key on your desk? Yeah, what about it? I need to borrow it for a while. Sorry, pal, but that key belongs to Miss Lola. Unless you're a friend of hers, I can't let you have it. How long have you been working here? For about six months now. My uncle co-owns this hotel with Anderson, so he got me this job. Anderson owns this hotel? Anderson co-owns the hotel. Uncle EA owns half. Anderson is using the money from the business to build up his airline. Have you seen Faye Russell in here? Yeah, I sure have. She left here not long ago with Anderson. She sure is beautiful, isn't she? That Anderson is a lucky guy to be hanging out with her. Are there any special shows on today? Uh-huh. Lola will be doing her showgirl routine soon. That's a show that you better not miss. She's one pretty dame. Thanks for the information. That's okay. About that key again. What do you want now? I'm Lola's friend. She asked me to get it for her. Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? Feel free to take the key anytime. Thanks. It's fixed. Uh, hello, Lola. Well, 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 if it isn't Joseph King. It's been a while. Not long enough. How are things? Much better. 
since you walked out of my life. Lola, I need your help. Yeah? So what else is new? This is serious. Can you help me? That depends. What do you want? Anderson's goons have me trapped here. And I suppose you want me to help you escape? Well, yeah. Why should I help you, Joe? It took me a long time to forget what you did to me. Look, I'm sorry for what I did in the past. So you should be. Get me a towel, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Lola. You're the best. Well, what do you know? I just found a towel. Here's your towel, Lola. Thanks. You want to get out of this dump? Well, I've got a plan. What sort of plan? Let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. I found it. Found what? You can use this dress. As a disguise. Here. Thanks. You know, Lola, I won't forget this. Yeah, right. Well, you better get out of here. I've got a show in ten minutes and I ain't dressed yet. Okay, let's get out of here. You called for me, Dr. Einstein? Yes. I want you to witness the testing of my dino ray. With it, I can turn humans into dinosaur people. Watch as I demonstrate. <laughs> Now to activate the machine. Amazing! She transformed into a monster before my very eyes. You've seen nothing yet. Observe as I activate the aggression enhancer. Soon, she will be a quivering, snarling mass of dinosaur terror. She doesn't look very menacing. <laughs> That's just a, a minor a technical problem. I'll soon have it fixed. Unfortunately, she was my last specimen. I need more Amazon women. Then I can create a dinosaur army to take over the world. <laughs>
<laughs> Hurry, Sparky, we've got to get to the airport. Hey, that was him, Lola. That was King. Let's get him! Thanks for pulling my clothes out of the trash, Sparky. Uh-oh. Rico and Eddie are hot on our heels. Wait a minute. There's something under here. It's time for an oil change. Okay, Sparky, let's get to the airport. Well, uh, Ms. Russell, everything seems to be in order. You may board the plane. Finally! I've been waiting here for ages. My time is money, you got that? Yes. Whatever you say, let's uh, go now, shall we? Hold it right there, Anderson. Huh? Who are you? He's, uh, nobody, Faye. Now just get on the plane. I'm Joe King, owner and pilot of this plane. I thought you said it was yours. Don't listen to him, Faye. You couldn't pilot your way out of a paper bag. At least I don't look like I need to wear one. You're asking for trouble, King. I'm going to run you out of town. I heard that you were a pretty fast runner. You're beginning to get on my nerves. Oh, yeah? You ain't seen nothing yet. Why do you hit him? He had it coming to him, Miss Russell. Nobody takes customers away from the Amazon Queen. Hmm. I thought he was kind of cute. Joe! Let me guess. This guy is going to say he's the owner of the plane, right? No, Miss Russell. This is my pal Sparky, the Queen's mechanic. We've got to get a move on. There's a big storm brewing. Well, I think it's time we got this show on the road. It's not my fault. Yeah, right. We were hit by lightning. What could I do? I don't want to hear excuses. Just get us out of this mess, okay? How are things, Sparky? It could be better, Joe. The plane is pretty badly damaged. How long will it take you to fix her? Fix her? You need more than a mechanic to fix the Queen, Joe. You need a miracle worker. Can you stop the water leak? I can slow it down a little, but I'm afraid she's gonna sink. We gotta find a way off the plane. What supplies do we have? Just about everything's been water damaged, including my new Commander Rocket comic. I got some beef jerky if you're feeling hungry. I'm starved. I'd love some beef jerky. Here you go, Joe. Don't eat it all at once, or you could end up like me. What, a mechanic? No, just slightly on the larger size. Though I have lost some weight lately. But that's probably because we haven't had a paying customer for months. Hang in there. I'll try, Joe. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe? I just found one of your comic book coupons. Is it the Commander Rocket Authentic Secret Pocket Rocket Decoder Ring coupon? That's the one. Unfortunately, it's all soggy. Gosh darn it. 
That page was from my new Commander Rocket comic, which means the rest of the comic must have been damaged in the crash. Sorry, pal. You might as well keep it, Joe. I'll try and get a new one later. One that's in mint condition. I just found a knife and a lighter. Here you go, fishies. That doesn't seem to work. That should do the trick. I'm a pilot for hire, not a pyromaniac. Hey guys, hop on board. I'm gonna row this lily pad to the bank. Is this safe? Maybe you'd rather stay in the plane? I think I'll risk the lily pad. Okay, guys. I want you to stay here while I go get some help. I'm going to try and find a telephone and call Al's Air Rescue. While you're at it, give your lawyer a call, too. You're going to need him when we get out of this mess. Ha, ha, ha. I think you should stick to drama, Faye. Comedy isn't you. Okay, guys. I won't be too long. Excuse me, Joe. Yes, Sparky? I was wondering if you could do me a favor. What sort of favor? Well, if you find the shop, could you see if they have any Commander Rocket comics? Comics? My copy of Commander Rocket vs. the Mob got water damaged in the crash. I'd really appreciate it if you could find me a new one. Okay, Sparky, I'll have a look. But I can't guarantee you anything. After all, we're in the Amazon jungle. Thanks, Joe. Quack? What a pretty bird. Polly want a cracker? Quack, oh, oh. Princess Azura is in trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, squawk! Hey, you can talk. Squawk! Oh. Help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh-oh. <whistles> oh, oh, squawk! Who's Trader Bob? And who's Princess Azura? Squawk! I'm being held captive. You must save me! Uh-oh! What on earth are you talking about? Who's holding who captive? Squawk! Uh-oh! Help me, Trader Bob! You're my only hope! Uh-oh! Squawk! Hey! Come back here! That's just great. I've only just arrived in the jungle, and already I get a cryptic message. Maybe this Trader Bob character can shed some light. Um, hi, I'm Joe King. <coughs> Did a parrot come through here recently? <coughs> I guess that's, uh, no. Tui! <coughs> Hello again. Uh, uh, uh. 
sorry, pal, but I don't speak ape. Unga! <laughs> Say, uh, you're a gorilla, ain't ya? Uh-huh. Unga, unga, gorilla! I thought gorillas came from Africa. Chunga, unga! Say, buddy, I think you're right. Gorillas are only found in Africa. This is South America. You shouldn't be here. Gee, you're right. I guess I'd better get going then. How freaky. A phantom primate. That creep has left us here. He makes me so mad. I feel better now. That was expensive perfume. So? I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. What are you gonna do now? I'm going for help. But Joe said to stay put. Well, he can go jump in the lake. Hi, my name's Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Skip, jungle explorer and comic collector. What sort of things have you discovered? Well, my partner Bud and I have discovered the ancient wooden chicken of Talmaxa Quarter, the mystical toothpick of the great King Manaputu, and the sacred crown of the Sun King. I thought the sacred crown of the Sun King was unearthed last century. Yeah, but the Museum of Mexico lost it in their collection. We helped them find it again, which was no easy task. It took more than three days to look through 50 cardboard boxes. What comic book were you reading? Commander Rocket vs. the Mob. It's really good. I've got every issue of the comic. I even have number one sealed in plastic and buried in my backyard. Do you actually collect comic books? Sure, but I also collect the other magazines, like Amazing Stories, Detective Murder Monthly, and National Geographic. You read National Geographic? Heck no! I just look at the pictures. What's the one you're reading all about? It's really exciting! Commander Rocket is battling the Chicago mob, but his rocket pack runs out of gas. He has to find some alternative fuel source. Does he find any new fuel? Of course he does. He always wins out in the end, but you'll have to read the comic to find out how. Do the mobsters kill him? No way. Commander Rocket always gets out of a tight scrape. He's my hero. How can he battle the mob? Is he a cop? Not quite. He's a vigilante with a rocket pack. But the cops always help him out. Thanks for the plot synopsis. That's okay. My friend loves reading Commander Rocket. Another rocket fan right here in the jungle. What a small world. Here's a message for him in Commander Rocket code. 
G F R H R H V H V X I V G N V H H Z P V. My friend has every issue of Rocket but one. Really? Which one is he missing? The one where he battles the Chicago mob. That's the very comic that I've got here. I've got a spare copy at home. If you want, you can have this one. Thanks. This will make Sparky's day. I'm sure it will. I understand how important this will be to your friend. Those shorts you have on are really swell. Where did you buy them? I don't know. My mommy buys all my clothes for me. I gotta go now. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Hello, Joe. I'm Bud, and my friend here is Skip. We're explorers. Are you guys professional explorers? Uh huh. That's why we're wearing these spiffy safari jackets and neat pith helmets. Yes, they're quite nice. Gee, thanks. Our safari suits are fashionable yet practical, and our pith helmets help create an air of professionalism. What are you looking for in this jungle? We're trying to find the legendary lost tribe of Amazon women. Why do you want to find a tribe of Amazons? We were previously captured by them. They took us to their secret Amazon fortress, and then they, they. I'd rather not say what they did. What did they do to you? Well, after they captured us, they used us for certain services. The sort of services that only men can provide, if you know what I mean. No, I don't really know what you mean. You know, they made us do things that only men have the equipment for. What? Like fixing the thermostat and cutting the grass? Oh, I give up. Yes, they made us fix the thermostat, cut the grass. And take out the garbage. It was dreadful. Do you want to get revenge for being captured? No way. We want to be captured again. How did you get away? Did you escape? Are you kidding? We wanted to stay there. You see, I've got this embarrassing rash. It's from the jungle heat, you know. They saw that and kicked us out. Where is your rash?、Um, I'd rather not say. It's rather embarrassing. I'm willing to pay lots of money to get rid of it. Boy, it's hot here. Is it always this hot? You bet it is. It's so hot that you can chafe and end up with a rash. Just like I have, I tell you, a rash cure in this jungle would be worth money. Gee, if I find one, I'll let you know. Thanks. Squawk! So we meet again, my fine feathered friend.
Howdy, son. My name's Trader Bob. I run this shop with Naomi over there. What can I do for you? Are you the same Trader Bob that this parrot told me about? Maybe. What else did that parrot tell you? Well, he told me about some princess. Azura, I think her name was. He said that she was in trouble. Listen, buddy. We gotta talk. What's your name? My name's King. Joe King. Pilot for hire. Well, Joe, Princess Azura is a good friend of mine, and she's been kidnapped. I don't know who's responsible, but I have my suspicions. I may need your help in finding her. Are you interested? Why do you need my help? Can't you do it yourself? The people I suspect of kidnapping Azura know me as her friend. They'd be very suspicious if I showed up snooping around. No one in the jungle knows who you are. I'm a pilot for hire, not a detective. And I'm the owner of an authentic native village and 24-hour convenience store. Sometimes we've got to do things that we never planned on doing. Okay, I'll help. Fill me in on the details. Great. I knew you'd help. I think that Floda, a lederhosen company, kidnapped Azura. She was last seen near their camp earlier today. It'd be great if you could check the place out. What makes you think that Floda kidnapped her? A number of other people have gone missing near there. Besides, Floda has electric fences and vicious guard dogs. Isn't that a little odd for a clothing company? What's the lederhosen company doing in the Amazon? Exactly. From what I can tell, the lederhosen is just a cover for their real activities. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's no good. What exactly is lederhosen? Lederhosen? Why, it's clothing. You know, sort of like leather shorts, I think. Not the sort of thing you'd wear in this hot weather. Now that I have the details... I guess I'll be off. You'll find Floda on the other side of the pinnacle. Be careful, Joe. And if you need any more help, just ask. Excuse me, how much is this thing here? That thing is a vacuum cleaner, son. And I'm afraid that costs more than you can afford. You look a little hungry. I've got some beef jerky. Would you like some? You bet I would. I'll even pay for it. That's okay. You can have it for free. No, I insist. Here, have some money. Gee, thanks. No, thank you. Excuse me. I'd like to buy this thing. That thing is a vacuum cleaner, son. It's actually an experimental self-powered model. Self-powered? Uh-huh. It's got a built-in battery or something. It'd be worth a fortune in the city, but it's useless here in the jungle. Well, I'm sure I can find a use for it. Here's some money. It's all yours, son. Nice doing business with you. Hey, no problem. Has there been any success in finding the Crystal Skull? Uh, not yet, Dr. Einstein. I have my best men looking for it in the temple. I must have that skull soon. It's the key to gaining entry to the Valley of the Mists. Yeah, and to obtaining more dinosaur samples. Exactly. And with my new dino ray, I can begin building my army of dinosaur women. Excellent, sir. 
Then I shall rule the world. <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Hey, I know you, don't I? I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. What on earth are you supposed to be? I'm a vicious dinosaur. I'd stay back if I were you. I can be very dangerous. There's no such thing as a talking dinosaur. How would you know? I bet you've never ever seen one before. It's a costume. I can see the stitches. Those aren't stitches. They're worry lines. If you're a dinosaur, then why aren't you extinct? Because I eat a balanced diet and exercise regularly. I know who you are. You're the gorilla I saw earlier. No, I'm not. I'm a vicious dinosaur. Now leave me alone or I'll be forced to eat you. You can't eat me. Gorillas are vegetarians. Okay, you've got me. We did meet earlier. Now will you leave me alone? I've got to guard this log. You don't get out of it that easy. I've got some questions that need answers. Do you have to keep bothering me? What do you want to know? Why are you wearing a pink dinosaur costume? Because my blue chicken costume is still at the dry cleaners. How did you do that disappearing trick before? That's my little secret. Let me just say that it's easy to do if you don't really exist. Could you teach me how to disappear? Oh, how I wish I could. But unfortunately, I can't teach you to disappear. I can only suggest you go hide in the jungle. Is there a reason why you're blocking my way? Uh-huh. It's revenge for the last time when you said I didn't exist and made me disappear. Nice talking to you, but I gotta go. Bye. Hello again. What is it this time? How did you do that disappearing trick before? That's my little secret. Let me just say that it's easy to do if you don't really exist. Would you disappear again if I said you don't exist? Maybe. But of course, you'd have to say that I don't exist. And you wouldn't really want to do that, would you? Sorry, pal. But you don't exist. Thanks a lot, bud. I had the strangest feeling of deja vu. I hate heights. That's taking care of them.
I found this orchid in the jungle. I thought you might like to give it to Naomi. Gee, thanks. Orchids are her favorite flower. You're a real lifesaver. We've got a date tonight and I hadn't found her a present yet. Now all I've got to do is find a good restaurant. Sorry, but I can't help you with that one. Naomi will really love this. Glad to help. I'm afraid I can't pay you for it. Oh. But I can offer you one of these fishing nets here. Ah, that will do nicely, I guess. I'd better hide it so she doesn't see it before our date tonight. Oh. Well, I hope you get lucky. In finding a restaurant, that is. <laughs> I'm sure we'll manage. Are you sure it's okay for me to take one of these nets? Sure thing, son. You're a special customer now. Gee, thanks, Bob. My pleasure. Hello, Joe. Sparky, what are you doing to the engine block? I'm filing off the rough edges. You know what, Joe? I don't think the insurance company's going to cover this one. Is there anything I can do to help? You could get me a winch, a very big truck, a long length of rope, two cucumber sandwiches, and, uh, Rita Haywood. That might be helpful. I'll take that as a no. You got that right, Joe. So do you think the insurance company will cover us? What insurance company? You know, Crazy Kevin's Aircraft Insurance. You crash them, we cash them. Remember them? You mean Crazy Kevin, who filed for bankruptcy? That's him! Uh, he still owes me three lessons with Crazy Kevin's ballroom dancing school. Sparky, that guy is a crook. But, but I was just going to start my tango lessons. Could I have one of your files? Certainly, Joe. Just as soon as you get me my comic book. All right already. I'm working on it. Where's Faye? I told you to look after her. Gee, uh, sorry, Joe, but she just upped and left. Muttered something about going for help. Why didn't you stop her? I tried really hard to stop her, honest. But she wouldn't listen to me. Did you physically try to stop her? Are you kidding? And dice with death? She started throwing things at me. I'm just lucky she left me in one piece. Which way did she go? She headed off toward the pinnacle. How long ago did she leave? Gee, I think it was about an hour ago. No, maybe it was two hours. Or was it a half an hour? You know, I should have brought my Commander Rocket watch. I'd better go find her. Uh, I'll stay here in case she comes back.
Okay, doll. Tell us where your pops hid in the Model X7 atomic brain tubes, and we'll let you go. Never! Leaping wizards! Professor Harbuckle was right! Those thugs have kidnapped his daughter, Stacy! Smash! Oh no! It's Commander Rocket! Get him, boys! Zap! Zap! Oof! What did you do to them? I immobilized them momentarily with my atomic stun gun. We have no time to lose. Jumping jackrabbits. My rocket pack is out of gas. Bleep, bleep. Looks like I picked the wrong day to quit the bottle. Bada, 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 bada. That's very potent alcohol you have there. It just might work in my rocket pack. Hey, go easy with that stuff. It costs money. Eat lead, Rocket. Put a 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 ping ping. Put a put a. Present present Gregor's another fighter and he got away. Oh, Rocket, you're such a dream. The American dream, ma'am. Well, what do you know? A loose page fell out of the comic book. Well, Sparky, I've been all over the jungle, and I finally found you a copy of Commander Rocket. Here. Thanks, Joe. Now, as a reward, you can give me one of your files. Uh, Joe. Yes. Someone's clipped a coupon from the back page. Yeah. So? Well, it's not exactly mint condition, is it? Sparky, it's just a comic book for crying out loud. But I'm a comic book collector. It has to be in mint condition, otherwise it's worthless. I don't believe this. No offense, Joe, but I might get a new copy when we get back home. You can keep this one. I don't want the stupid comic. I want a file. Oh, you can have that too. Finally. Next time, you can get your own comics. It looks too dangerous to cross. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Can I help you? I'm interested in some of your merchandise. Which merchandise in particular? How much is Wedgwood the parrot? Wedgwood isn't for sale. He's more like a member of our family than a pet.
I'm sorry, Joe, but we'd never sell him. I guess I'll just have to settle for pizza tonight then. What's with the barber chair out front? That's part of my village hair salon. I'm a qualified stylist, except I don't get to use my skills much. The only thing people want around here are bowl cuts. There's nothing wrong with bowl cuts. I guess not, but I would like to try something different every now and again. Is hairstyling a family tradition? Sort of. My great grandfather used to take a little off the top, if you know what I mean, until he ran out of customers. Could you give me a haircut? Maybe another day. I've got a date with Bob tonight, and I have to get ready. I'm really nervous about it. How come you're nervous about your date tonight? Oh, it's no big deal. Bob gave me some perfume, which I was going to wear tonight. But Wedgwood drank the entire bottle. He was drunk for a whole week. Hmm, that explains the alluring aroma when we first met. I haven't the heart to tell Bob what happened. And I know he'll be expecting me to wear the perfume. What am I going to do? Let's just say I had some perfume. What would you give me for it? Well, I'm not allowed to give away any of the stuff in the store, but I could give you something of mine, like my trusty hairdressing scissors, for example. I'll keep that in mind if I happen to find some perfume. Thanks. Where did you learn to speak English? The missionaries in the jungle can speak pygmy, so they taught me how to speak English. I'm the only one in my village that can speak it fluently. Where can I find these missionaries? They have their mission in the jungle. If you're thinking of asking them to teach you pygmy, forget it. They won't teach you for nothing. How come Bob over there didn't teach you? Bob's a nice guy and all, but his grasp of the English language is a little limited. He thinks Grandma is the person who washes his grandfather's socks. <laughs> Thanks for your time. That's okay. Excuse me, Naomi. Yes, Joe. We were talking earlier about you needing some perfume. Uh huh. Well, I'm about to make your day. Here's an expensive French fragrance. Joe, you're such a sweet guy. All I have to offer you are my hairdressing scissors. They'll do fine. I'm sure I can put them to good use. Well. Hey there, little fella. Wouldn't you rather have this banana instead of that boring coconut? <laughs> That's a good boy. Hi there. My name's Joe. Howdy, Joe. 
I'm Mary Lou Cook. My husband Jimmy and I run this mission. Who did you set the mission up for? Those monkeys. Are <laughs> very funny. We were trying to teach the native pygmies, but they ran away. Why did the pygmies run away? I don't know. I began singing when they suddenly upped and left. Listen, all things great and beautiful. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? <coughs> I would have stayed for an encore. Wow. Thank you. Well, I hope they come back soon. How did you talk to the pygmies? I just used my English to pygmy dictionary. Can I have a look at the dictionary? You know, I'd love to let you have a look, but it's the only one I have, and I can't risk losing it. I'll swap you for your dictionary. What have you got to swap? Would you like another nail file? It's not worn out, is it? No, it's brand new. Hmm. Okay, you've got a deal. I'll swap. Good. I'm glad we could come to some arrangement. So am I. I have an idea. If I put the flower on this branch, it might lure him closer. Now to wait. Gee, I wonder what Joe is doing right now. Probably something exciting. That was painful. This won't hurt a bit.
Hello, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Greetings, Joe King. I am the chief of this pygmy village. How may I be of service? That statue behind you, is it an original? You bet it is. It was carved by one of my great, great, great ancestors. Do you like it? Yeah, it's very unique. What's it meant to be? It represents the gods that have visited us throughout time. They came from the heavens in fiery canoes bearing gifts for my people. What sort of gifts did the gods bring you? All sorts of things. Like Velcro, liquid soap, keyrings that beep when you clap, and banana flavored jelly in a tube. Mmm, that was yummy. Do these gods look like that statue there? No, not at all. Apparently they're much, much uglier. Have you ever met any of these gods? Not personally. They aren't due to visit again for another two years. Thanks for the tribal history lesson. I feel smarter already. My pleasure. What's the name of your tribe, Chief? Where the heck are we? How the heck should I know? I just crashed here. I've read about you guys in National Enquirer. It was an honest mistake. We were young. We were naive. We were in love. We were giddy with joy. We were drunk. Besides, she never said she was the governor's wife. Did I say National Enquirer? I meant National Geographic. Oh, yeah, right. Of course. <laughs> Look, just forget what I said, okay? <laughs> nice talking to you, Chief. Always a pleasure, Joe. Hello, I'm Joe King. You must be the witch doctor. That's correct. What do you want? What are you doing? I'm mixing up some potions for the villagers. Could you make me a rash cure? It's for a friend of mine. A friend, huh? <laughs> well, I need the following ingredients. The hair of a slow-moving climber, milk from a sacred site, and something else to give it a little buzz. Is that all? That's it. Bring them to me, and I'll have you fixed up in no time. But it's for my friend. Oh, yeah, <laughs> whatever you say. <laughs> Do you use natural ingredients? Of course I do. There's nothing artificial in my potions. I use leaves, flowers, tree roots, anything that Mother Nature will supply. Can I help you make some potions? Sorry, kid. This is a highly complicated magic I'm doing here. You just sit back and watch. Thanks for the information. I'm happy to be of assistance. Nice talking to you. Goodbye. Here's one of the ingredients that you need. Excellent. All I need is two more ingredients and you will have a rush cure. I have another one of the ingredients that you need. Ah! 
some wine. This ought to give the lotion a little buzz. You have done well. All I need is the final ingredient and you will have a rash cure. This is the final ingredient you need. Excellent. Now I can prepare the lotion. Unga putana. Unga na putan. Kachunga chunga. What on earth are you doing? I'm asking the gods to bless my medicine. Now if you don't mind... Putani chunaga. Chunga. Utani chunga. Wow, that's pretty neat. Uh-huh. This medicine should cure your rash. Thanks very much. By the way, it's my friend who has the rash. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's what they all say. Well, I've got other work to do, so goodbye. Excuse me, bud. Yes? I found a cure for your rash. A cure? How can I ever thank you? Well, money would be nice. Oh, yeah. Here's a lot of money. Don't spend it all at once. I'd like to buy this record. Certainly. Do you have enough money? I sure do. Here you go. It's all yours, son. Thanks. Nice doing business with you. I was wondering if you could help me. That depends. What do you want? Do you have a phone that I could use? I'm sorry, but we don't have a telephone. What's that on your desk? An alarm clock? Har, har, har. You're a real comedian. That phone happens to be out of order, and the repairman isn't due for another day. I'm lost, and I was hoping you could help me. What does this look like? An information bureau? If you want help, go talk to the fat guy at the convenience store. 
I'm curious. What are you guys doing in the jungle? Um, ah,、uh, we have a lederhosen factory. We make lederhosen for export to Europe. Who are you anyway? Are you the fumigator? I'm the fumigator. Ah, I see you have your equipment with you. Do all the rooms except for the library. We don't want you to find any secret passages. Did you say secret passages? Secret passages? No, no, no. I meant to say special packages. Now just be a good boy and stay away from the library. What are you doing in my kitchen? What are you doing? I'm right in the middle of performing brain surgery. What does it look like I'm doing? Gee, take it easy, pal. I just wanted to know what you were cooking. I'm trying to make the doctor his lunch, but his sensitive teeth make him real fussy about what he eats. I tell you, he's driving me nuts. Any luck in making the doctor his lunch? Not at all. I have no idea what to serve someone who has extra sensitive teeth. And you hassling me is no help. Could I have a hamburger and fries, please? Lunch has already been served, and besides, I don't take orders. Could I have a glass of milk and cookies instead? Do I look like your mother? No, you cannot have milk and cookies. Now get out of here. Excuse me. Yeah, what is it? I'm a busy man, you know. I think I have some food that you could safely give the doc. Oh yeah. What is it? A banana. It's soft and mushy and low on calories. Here. This is just what I need. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. I have to take this to Doc right away. Keep an eye on my kitchen while I'm gone. That should do the trick. There's a letter inside. It's addressed to Private John. Looks like a girl's handwriting. I don't want to cut that. Ah, sweet music. A secret elevator. Swell. What do you know? I just found some money. Going down.
Well, what do you know? I just found a can opener. Hey you, what are you doing? Nobody is allowed in those rooms. I'm the, uh, I'm the fumigator. I was just about to fumigate the rooms. I'm sorry, but no one is allowed in there. Not even the fumigator, so you better leave this area now. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Joe King, fumigator for hire. What are you doing? Hello, Joe, I'm John. It's my job to guard this corridor. I have to keep a lookout for unauthorized persons. If you see anyone that shouldn't be here, let me know, okay? Why does this corridor need guarding? Well, there's some pretty secret stuff on this floor. Dr. Einstein has given strict orders to keep out anyone without security clearance. Have you found any unauthorized people yet? Not personally, but I did hear that we captured an Amazon lady earlier in the day. If she didn't do anything wrong, then she's got nothing to worry about. Where would she be now? Gee, I suppose she'd be in the lockup down in the basement. That's where we keep all the other snoopers. I have a letter here addressed to Private John. It must be for you. Yeah, I've been expecting some mail for the last month. Well, your wait is over. Here's your letter. Oh, joy! It's from my girlfriend. I'm happy for you. I can't wait to find out what she's been doing. Dear John, thank you for your letter. Things have been very busy here at home. I've been working late shifts at the hospital and... I don't know how to break this to you, but I've met a nice young doctor on the night shift. We get along wonderfully and he treats me really well. What I'm trying to say is, I like you very much, but I like him more. Sorry. Love. Chrissy. Are you okay? She's leaving me for a doctor. Ah! My little Chrissy has Dumped me! <laughs> Here's a memo about some legendary Valley of the Mists. It says, We are very confident that we have found the exact location of the valley. It's today's roster. It says Private John is assigned Corridor Patrol, Henry is to report to Colonel Jackson for kitchen duty, and Clunk is to guard Frank's office.
You can't keep me locked up like an animal? I am Princess Azura. I demand to be set free immediately. Hey, don't shout at me. I got nothing to do with your imprisonment. Who are you? I'm the, uh... I'm the fumigator. Aren't you a little short for a fumigator? Actually, I'm not really a fumigator. I'm Joe King, pilot for hire, and I'm here to rescue you. Well, don't just stand there. Let me out! So you're a real princess, huh? I sure am. Last heir to the throne. Now, could you please help me escape? What do I get if I rescue you from this prison? I have access to riches far beyond your wildest dreams. If you get me out of here, I'll make sure that you are well rewarded. Why haven't your Amazonian sisters rescued you? The place is very well guarded. There is no way my Amazon warriors could sneak inside undetected. How did you get captured? I was ambushed by Floda troops in the jungle. I didn't have any of my personal guards with me. And they overpowered me. I feel so ashamed. I better start forming a rescue plan. Very good. Maybe you could start by finding the key to the door. Halt! This is a restricted area. What are you doing here? You're needed for kitchen duty. This isn't another one of John's practical jokes, is it? Just to be sure that you are telling the truth. Who is the commanding officer in charge of kitchen duties? Colonel Jackson. Colonel Jackson? How could I have forgotten? I was supposed to report to him half an hour ago. Well, you better hurry up and report to him, then. I hope he isn't too upset. He seemed pretty steamed up. I'll be back later. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Excellent, my little dino friend. You successfully navigated the maze. Uh, greetings, Dr. Einstein. Anderson, I trust your flight from Rio was enjoyable? Uh, of course it was. I did the flying. What happened to your nose? Uh... I uh, ran into some uh, air turbulence on the way here. I thought you said the flight was good. Uh, yes, it was good, uh, except for the um, turbulence. Well, I should hope you have less trouble flying my airship. Indeed, uh, Doctor. I'd like to thank you for choosing uh, Flying Dutchman Airlines. I only use the best. If you don't mind me asking, what sort of creature is that? This small creature is a dino rat. A hybrid prehistoric beast with the intelligence of a rodent. It's the result of my earlier genetic experiments. You've done well. Your dino creature is escaping! Damn! Don't worry, Doctor. I'm sure your gods will retrieve it. The important thing is, your Dino Ray is a success. Indeed. Soon, I will make those dolts at the Science Academy sorry. Sorry that they ever laughed at me. Good heavens! It's their plan to take over the world using a race of dinosaur people.
That doesn't seem to work. That should do the trick. Hi, I'm just doing some routine fumigating. Fumigating? Ah yes, I was briefed about you. You might as well move on. These rooms are off limit. You think you're a tough guy, don't you? No, I don't think I'm a tough guy. I know I'm a tough guy. I've been through Dr. Einstein's super soldier treatment. I don't think you're tough. I think you're a weenie. What did you call me? You heard me the first time. You are a weenie. Oh, yeah? Go ahead and punch me. Then you'll see how tough I am. Be gentle with me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so you're a tough guy. I just need to work out a little more. Now it's my turn. That's one mean right hook. Right. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get on with guarding this corridor. So I suggest you continue with your fumigating. Hey, Clunk, are you feeling hungry? I'm always hungry. Have you got some food? Maybe. What is it? It's, a. Uh... It's Chef's Surprise. Mmm, I'd love some. Thanks. Here you go. <laughs> Are you okay? I feel a, a, a little strange. That's probably the anchovies. How you feeling, Clunk? I'm feeling a little giddy. You really think you're a tough guy, don't you? I know I'm a tough guy. I've had Doc Einstein's super soldier treatment, and I'm as tough as they come. I really think that you are a major league weenie. You know what? You're beginning to get on my nerves. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to settle this once and for all. I'm going to give you one last chance to try and punch me out. Then, I'm going to kick your butt. Go easy on me. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Going down.
It's a mahogany desk. These guys must be loaded. It looks like the combination to a safe. I don't think anyone would mind if I tore this page out. That was hard work. That should do the trick. I just found a padlock key and plans to some sort of gadget. These may come in handy. It's an English to Pygmy translation dictionary. It's the great escape. The pages seem stuck together. Hey, there's a key in here. There you go, Princess. You are free. Thank you, Joe. You saved my life. Hey, it ain't over yet. You call that a kiss? I hope Joe hasn't fallen into the midst of some dangerous jungle beast. It's been fun, but I think we should get out of here. They closed the security door and sounded the alarm. I can hear footsteps. It must be the guards. We've got to do something. Azura, I have an idea. What is it? I'll show you. I've searched everywhere. Where are they hiding? <laughs> Who's there? Those damn mannequins are so lifelike. I'm beginning to imagine they are real. They must have left the building before the security doors closed. They won't get far. I'll say. What now? Don't worry, Azura. I'll get us out of this mess. I know you will, Joe. Did you see the guard enter the door code? I didn't have a clear view of what he was doing. But I think he pressed the blue button, then red, green, blue, then red again. Wow, that's a very impressive memory you have. Why, thanks, Jack. Ah, that's Joe. Yeah, whatever. Here goes nothing. Good work. 
thank goodness. Let's get out of here. We must hurry back to my people. No, you go ahead. I'll stay here and make sure no one follows. Very well, Joe. I shall see you soon. I just hope I can find my way to her home. Hello, boy. I've got you a present. Here you go. It fits. There's something inside. It looks like a rocket pack. I think I hear someone coming. I better hide. Hail, sister. Hail! Did you hunt well? Yes. Tonight we will feast on roast sloth and native berries. Excellent, my palate tingles in anticipation. You may enter the fortress. Wow! Real Amazons! Well, here goes nothing. Just my luck. A trap. You're in big trouble now, mister. Men are not allowed here. Come with me. Hey, let me out of here. Oh, great. Now I'm stuck in some stupid jail. Excuse me? Uh, yeah? Where am I? Uh... Mm. You're in the... Amazon's Dungeon! Amazon's Dungeon? That's bad. Isn't it? Bad? No, that's good! What's so good about being in an Amazon dungeon? You really don't know, do you? The Amazons are a tribe of all women warriors. They need outside males to help keep their tribe populated. Know what I mean? How long have you been here? Hmm... Now let me see. Ah... Uh, about two days. 
two days? You look like you've been here for years. Uh, yeah. It's all the hard work that we have to do. It makes us look older. I think I've heard enough. Okay. I'll get back to my puppet show. I'd rather not wake him. Hello? Huh? What do you want? What's your name? Uh, I'm Ernest Wilkins. Ernie Wilkins, that's me. Are you a famous explorer? Yeah, well, sorta. I've been looking for this Amazon tribe for years. And now I finally found them. Boy, was it worth it. Is there any way out of this place? You don't want to leave, do you? What do you want to leave for? Oh, I don't know. I guess I have this thing about being locked up. Hey, you gotta loosen up. After a few days in here, you'll be just like Bert over there. What? Insane? No. Mellow. I think you should get some rest. I think so, too. I'd rather not bother him. Ah, it feels nice and warm. Excuse me. Yes? Nice hand puppet you have there. You really think so? Yeah, I like the one with the stick. That ain't a stick. That's a baseball bat. It's not a baseball bat. It's a stick. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This is a baseball bat. Hey, that looks like the one my puppet has. Why do I bother? Seeing that you're so interested in it, I'll let you have it. I don't want it. You don't want it? I'll have it. You ain't getting it. My new friend here is gonna have it. Thanks, but I'll pass on the sock. Just take it. I don't want it. You know you want it. Really, I don't want it. Of course you do. Now take it. I don't want the stupid thing. Take it. For the last time, I don't want it. I'll have it. Why don't you shut up? Now take the puppet before I change my mind. Are you deaf? I DON'T WANT THE STUPID HAND PUPPET! Is that it? You're gonna hurt my feelings just like that? For crying out loud, it's just a puppet. Fine. I extend the hand of friendship. And you bite it. All right already. I give in. I'll take it. I know you wanted it. Anything to shut you up. You said I could have it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. Did too. That's it. I ain't talking to you no more. Oh, yeah? Well, I ain't talking to you no more. What did I do to deserve this? Ahem. <clears throat> Well, look who we have here. Faye? If it isn't Joseph King. I should have known you were the cause of this racket. What are you doing here? After you abandoned me at the crash site, I decided to find help myself. 
I came across a tribe of Amazon women who've been kind enough to feed and shelter me. I thought I told you to stay back at the plane. Well, it's lucky for you that I didn't. I'm your only ticket out of this dump. Where the heck am I? You're currently in the Amazon's dungeon. This is where they keep any men that they capture snooping around. Not a bad idea. I could use one of these myself. Are these really Amazon women? Uh-huh. 100% bona fide Amazonians. They're really nice people. They just want to keep to themselves and live a peaceful life. Well, are you going to get me out of here? That depends. Are you going to apologize for all the trouble you caused me? Okay. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. You don't sound sincere enough. Try that apology again. Okay. I'm really, really sorry. Will you forgive me? I might forgive you. Okay, you're forgiven. Just don't do it again. By the way, the princess wants to see you. Follow me. Azura! Joe! You finally made it. I would have been here sooner, but I had a stopover in your dungeon. I'm very sorry about that. My guards didn't know who you were. I'd like to make it up to you with a gift. Thanks, but what is it? It's a Tyranohorn. It's been handed down from generation to generation. Is it worth anything? It's priceless. Doesn't look like it's worth very much. When blown, it makes the sound of an angry Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is a symbol of my people's strength. Now, it is yours. Well, it's been fun, but I've got other things to take care of, like getting my plane out of the river. Hold it right there, King. You know my name? I know all about you. Who are you? That's the evil Dr. Ironstein! He's the man who, who kidnapped me! I followed you here after you escaped from my secret camp. I have this place surrounded by armed guards. What do you want with us? I have a little job for you, Mr. King. There is a crystal skull hidden deep within an ancient temple on Sloth Island. I would like you to find it for me. Why should I do that for you? Why? Because if you don't... I will transform every last one of your Amazon friends into dinosaur women. Don't listen to him, Joe. My first victim will be the beautiful Princess Azura. Okay, I'll do it. But what makes you think I can find the skull? You got past my security and rescued Azura. That was quite a feat. If anyone can find the skull, you can. Do I have your word that you will release the Amazons? Of course you do. I am a man of honor. Well, I guess I've got a skull to find. I'll be back. Good luck, Joe. Things are really hotting up now.
What do you want, mortal? I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. You are joking. What insolence. This is no time for levity. You sound upset, bud. What's the matter? It concerns you not, mortal. Now if you don't mind, I'm busy. Are you fishing? No, I'm flying a kite. Of course I'm fishing. Look, the fish aren't biting, and I'm getting a little uptight. So would you please leave me alone? What sort of bait are you using? Bait? 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 What do you mean, bait? I think I know why you're not catching any fish. You need bait. How could I be so stupid? I've got the fishing rod, the fishing line, and the river full of fish. But I haven't got the bait. If I get you some bait, will you ferry me to Sloth Island? Mm. Very well. It's a deal. But I warn you, I better catch a fish, or I'll use you as bait. I found you some bait. Try this. Excellent. I finally caught a fish. Just let me know when you want to go to Sloth Island. Are the fish still biting? I've had a few nibbles. Will you take me to Sloth Island now? Oh, all right. You fulfilled your end of the deal. Okay, let's go. Thanks for the ride. That's okay, mortal. Be careful. <laughs> I will. What a nice guy. I guess I better find that skull. That doesn't seem to work. It fits!
I'll just use one coin. Looks like I hit the jackpot. A secret passage. I better get the arm bone. It may come in handy. Ouch! What the? Before you may proceed, you must answer this riddle. What walks on four legs at dawn, two legs at noon, and three legs at dusk? Is it a two-legged cow with prosthetics? That would have to be the lamest answer I've heard yet, and I've heard quite a few. I'll let you have another try. I know. It's man in his three stages of life. You got it right. Man crawls as a baby early in his life. He walks upright in the middle of his life, and he walks with a walking stick in his later years. So I got it right. Now what? Well, now I can let you proceed through the temple. Only those worthy of the riddle may do so. And you are worthy. I like that riddle. Would you mind telling me what you are? I cannot answer your questions now. But if you survive the temple, then I will reveal all. Thanks for the riddle. I'll see you later. Only if you are good enough. Wow! Hey! Hey, you! Come back here! I just want to know who you are! Talk about rude! I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Who, what are you people? We are Prince Almat the Quattle's personal concubine. We are waiting for him to rest before we leave for the afterlife. How long have you been waiting here? I'd say about 300 years. Give or take a decade. How could you be over 300 years old? When Prince Almak the Quattle died, we were blessed by the Temple High Priest. We are to remain in physical form until the Prince is ready to leave for the other side. What are you gonna do when he wakes up? When the Prince awakens, we shall all begin the journey to the afterlife. There, we shall serve him as his otherworldly concubine. Don't you think he's had enough rest by now? Hmm. It is a rather long time. Royalty often rests for a week before commencing the great journey. I think you've been gypped. I'd say the prince is long gone. Nonsense. He'd never leave his wives behind. At least, I don't think he would. I don't see any prince. Where is he? He's in the sarcophagus, sleeping. 
How do you know the prince is still in there? He may have left without you. Our prince would never do such a thing. We trust him. Prove to me he's still there. Open the sarcophagus. We don't have to prove anything to you. Now, if you don't mind, would you please go away? You're afraid he's not inside, aren't you? That is not true. Our prince is resting in the sarcophagus. I'll prove it to you. Open the sarcophagus. See, there is our sweet prince, resting as I had predicted. Close the sarcophagus. How do you know he's still under all those rags? Give me a break, will you? Go bother some other zombies. We're busy. I hope the prince is wearing boxers. I've got some more questions. What is it that you want to know? I think you should open the sarcophagus again. Why on earth should I reopen it? Give me one good reason. I have this hunch that he may have just left. That's funny. Because I have this hunch that you may just be leaving. Now quit annoying me and get out of here. Excuse me. What is it this time? I think you should open the sarcophagus again. Why on earth should I reopen it? Give me one good reason. I won't go away until I get another look. Well, it looks like you may be waiting around here for quite some time. I'm not opening that sarcophagus. Excuse me. What is it this time? I think you should open the sarcophagus again. Why on earth should I reopen it? Give me one good reason. I pulled a pile of rags out of the sarcophagus. You did what? We'd better have a look inside then. Open the sarcophagus. What? He's gone? But how? Close that thing up. What did I tell you? Our sweet prince has left. He's gone into the afterlife without us. Gee, I feel so helpless. I wish there was something I could do. That rat. Wait until I get my hands on him. Okay, girls, we've got business to take care of. In the afterlife. Goodbye, Mr. King. Perhaps we will meet again. Uh, goodbye. Well, that's gotten rid of them. <clears throat> Looks like the prince left his crown behind. It'll make a swell souvenir. <clears throat> Phew, that was hard work. That should do the trick. I think I've had enough fun.
Hey, over here! Oh, it's you again. Say, you're one of Doc Einstein's boys. What are you doing in that cage? I accidentally set off a trap. I pulled when I should have pushed. Who are you? I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Your boss sent me here to find some crystal skull. Well, your search is over, Mr. King. My name is Ian, and I have what you are looking for right here with me. You do? Yes. Now, if you'll just help me out of this cage. We can both bask in glory when we return with the skull. How do I know I can trust you? Of course you can trust me. We are both on the same side, are we not? Besides, you need to release me to get the crystal skull. How do I get over to where you are? I can't remember the exact route, but I do know that you'll have to find your way past a giant snake. Can I have a look at the crystal skull? Do you take me for a fool? The skull stays hidden on my person until you get me out of this cage. How long have you been hanging around here? Is that meant to be a joke? Hey, lighten up a little. You guys need a sense of humor. There is little time for humor in our organization. Taking over the world is a very serious business indeed. I gotta go now. Hurry up and rescue me, okay? Yo! That thing is hot! I think I just fried the hand puppet. What a trip! It fits! That should do the trick.
like I hit pay dirt. I can't see any way over there. I'll stay right here. That should do the trick. You're lucky I didn't deep fry you, pal. I ain't afraid of no snakes. Nothing happened. I finally made it. About time. I'd almost given up hope. I've got an idea. Excellent! What is it? I'd like you to untie the rope tethering the cage. Don't be ridiculous. If I untie the rope, I fall into the pit. Not the rope that the cage is hanging from, the rope at your feet. Ah, of course. I knew that. There. Great stuff. Now I can set you free. It worked. You're free. Excellent. You have done well. But I'm afraid this is where we part company. Hey, I thought we had a deal. Don't argue with me, King, or I will have to shoot you. But I saved your life. And I am returning the favor. If I happen across you again, I may not be so kind. So don't follow me. What a creep. He was carrying an ID card and a strange piece of stone.
Anderson. How soon until the Zeppelin is ready? Very soon, Dr. Einstein. Excellent. Once I have the skull, we will fly into the valley. Then I can begin my reign of terror. <laughs> what about King? What do you plan to do with him? Don't worry, Anderson. I know how much you despise the man. Despise is probably too strong a word. I can assure you that he will never bother you again. Ever. Oh? Huh? We shall discuss this later. I have work to do. Soon I will rule the world. <laughs> What have I gotten myself into? The doctor is insane. And he plans on killing Joe. Without him around, who will I gloat over? Hmm. On the other hand, I'll finally have him out of my hair. But then I'll have to live with his death on my conscience. Although Einstein is paying me good money, what a moral dilemma. What am I going to do? What on earth was that? I have it! I have the big stick! But now what do I do with it? Phew! Holy cow! It's Ian! He may have been an arrogant double-crossed piece of scum, but he didn't deserve to end up like this. That lion cheat. He didn't have the crystal skull at all. The only thing I found was a strange piece of rock. Everything else was flattened.
Whoa, what a trip! Just great. I broke the crypt and my big stick. Holy cow! It's some sort of ceremonial death mask. This thing could be worth a fortune. No one will mind if I take it. Tying that up ain't gonna do me much good. Tying that up ain't gonna do me much good. Its mirror surface is all tarnished. Whoa! I hope I don't have to pay for that. I can't quite reach it. Wow! Authentic wrappings from an ancient mummy! It's not fit for whittling! It's sharp. That's not such a good idea. I'd probably knock the jewel into the water.
shoe. What a trip! It fits! Wow! Secret passages! I wonder where they lead. Looks like some sort of stone lizard. There's a small hole in its chest. That should do the trick. That'd just make a sticky mess. Now isn't the time to practice my hairstyling. It fits. Uh-oh, I think it's gonna explode. There's a staircase leading to a room below.
I wonder if Joe is okay. I hope he hasn't fallen foul of some horrible death trap. There. That's much better. That doesn't seem to work. The patterns have changed. Hey, I opened the door. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Huh? You again? I didn't think that you would make it this far. I'm impressed. Look, I'm really happy for you. But where's the skull? It is within your grasp. But first, you must give me the key. Key? What key? The key to your lineage. You are the successor to the royal house of Al Maxaquatl, are you not? Of course. I'm Joe Almaxaquatl, Prince Bahia. Very good. Give me your key and the skull will be yours. I've got the key to my lineage right here. Yes, and what might that key be? It's the crown that's been in my family for hundreds of years. Ah, the Royal Almaxaquatl headpiece. That's the one. Here. Oops. Sorry about that. Do not worry. You have proven that you are the heir. You are worthy to take the skull. Thanks. Neat. As a member of the Royal House of Almaxaquatl, I trust that you know what you are doing. Now I must leave. At last, I found it. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. Hey, the power's gone off. Looks like I've activated something. Well, here goes nothing. Hmm, it looks like Mr. King has found his way out. Greetings, Mr. King. Ouch! Congratulations on your success. I got the skull. Now you can let the Amazons go free. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd like you to come with me. Great! I'm locked up again! Hello, King. You double-crossing fiend! Let me out of here!
I can't do that. You would interfere with my plans. But thanks to you, the shield surrounding the valley is off. Now I have access to all of the dinosaurs within. You're mad. You'll never get away with it. Really? And who is going to stop me? The CIA? The IRS? The RSPCA? They laughed at me when I began my genetic research. But now, I'll have the last laugh. <laughs> Why on earth do you need more dinosaurs? The answer is quite simple, Mr. King. Do you know what DNA is? Is it the National Dyslexics Association? Not quite. It's deoxyribonucleic acid. It contains the genetic makeup of all living organisms. Change DNA and you change life itself. You're not mixing dinosaur DNA with human DNA, are you? I'm afraid so, Mr. King. And with pleasing results, too. Soon, I will have an army of dinosaur soldiers at my command. I'll do whatever I can to stop you, once I get out of here. How noble of you. Maybe you should try banging your head against the bars to loosen them. Or you could use your knife to dig your way out. <laughs> your sarcasm will be your undoing. I'd really love to stay and talk. But I have a lost valley of dinosaurs to plunder. Perhaps we can continue our conversation when I return. Farewell, King. I'm really beginning to feel like Harry Houdini. Hey, let me out of here! Joe, we finally found you! Hi there, big boy. Faye? Hello, Joe. Bet you didn't expect to see me, huh? Anderson, what are you doing here? You no good son of a... Get a grip, Joe. He's here to help us. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, get a grip. Why would he want to help us? Because the doctor is insane. He must be stopped at all costs. No kidding? You're a regular genius, you know that? Well, at least I'm smart enough not to be behind bars. <laughs> You're just lucky that I am behind bars, pal. Quit your bickering, you two. He started it. I did not. We have to find a way to get this door open. Yeah, maybe there's a crowbar or something in this cupboard. A crowbar? You'll need more than a crowbar to open this door. Good thinking, Hans. Hans? Your name is Hans? It was my father's name. We don't have time for idle chit-chat. We have work to do. Let's have a look. Hey, there's some kind of gun in here. Biffy. Be careful, Faye. That crazed Dr. Einstein has some deadly toys. Well, this looks pretty deadly. Maybe I can blow the lock off the door. Okay. Let's give it a go. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Why don't you think it's a good idea, Joe? Are you afraid? No. I'm just concerned for your, uh, safety. Yeah, right. Well, you better stand back. I 
don't believe it! It dissolved the entire door. Just as well. This thing has burnt out. Well, Faye, we've got to get a move on. Why the hurry? Hans has to fly the Zeppelin into the valley. If we don't get back to the hangar, Einstein may get suspicious. We've done all we can, Joe. You've got to find some way into the valley and stop Einstein before it's too late. I'll try. You guys be careful now, okay? We will. Good luck, Joe. Yes, King. Good luck. This isn't my day. Now I have to find some way into the valley. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this alcohol. Sure thing, son. May I see your ID, please? My ID? Yeah, ID. You have ID, don't you, son? Yeah, sure. I've got it right here. See? Hmm, you were born on the 13th of July 1922, huh? That's right. How old are you then? How old am I? I'm, uh, I'm 26. Okay, but this card doesn't have your name on it. Of course it doesn't. I've just changed my name to Joe King, and I haven't got my new ID card through yet. Yeah, right. Okay, you can have the alcohol. Gee, thanks a lot. Remember, drinking doesn't make you big or clever, and never drive an automobile while under the influence. Thanks for the public service announcement, Bob, but I am an adult. If I put these two pieces of paper together, I can see the complete blueprint on the back. It's the blueprint for Commander Rocket's pocket rocket. It can reach speeds of up to 100 miles an hour and runs on just a quarter gallon of gas. It's the blueprint for Commander Rocket's pocket rocket. It can reach speeds of up to 100 miles an hour and runs on just a quarter gallon of gas. This thing looks like Commander Rocket's jetpack. And according to those blueprints, it takes a quarter gallon of gas. I'll try that much. Well, here goes nothing.
Ow! My head hurts. I'm so glad you could drop in, Joe. I knew that you'd make it. Faye, what are you doing here? I hitched a ride with Anderson in the airship. My God! That's a dinosaur! It's a living, breathing dinosaur! That's right, King. Welcome to the Valley of the Mists. Where are the others? They're with Dr. Ironstein. He has no idea that you're here, so you have the advantage of surprise. Great. Maybe I can scare him to death. You'll think of something. I told Frank that I needed to powder my nose, so I better get back. Powder your nose? Come on, follow me. If I get out of this alive, I'm taking a long vacation. Faye? Where are you, Faye? Oh, great. Now I've lost Faye. And this dinosaur is in my way. Here you go, girl. That should keep her occupied. Now isn't the time to practice my hairstyling. There's no point to it. Wow! More dinosaurs! <laughs> Damn! I scared them away! Now where's he gone? They both left in a hurry. I wonder why. I have a feeling that I'm about to find out. That's one mean-looking dinosaur! I hope this guy is scared of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, that's taking care of him. At last, I have made it into the valley. Hold it right there, Einstein. King, how did you get here? That's not important. What is important is that I put a stop to your sinister plans. Put a stop to my plans? My dear King, you are going to help me fulfill them. Watch out, Joe! He has a portable dino ray gun. That's right, King. One shot, and you'll be transformed into a mindless dinosaur. Threaten me all you want. I won't be a party to your evil deeds. 
Perhaps I can persuade you by threatening the lovely Princess Azura. Okay, I'll do whatever you ask. Just don't hurt her. Come here, King. I have something for you. This is the Crystal Skull. What do you want me to do with this? I want you to place it in that statue over there. That doesn't sound too bad. There, I put the skull in. Now what? <laughs> Holy cow! It worked! Just as legend said! All systems functional. Unit compliance initiated. Huh? I don't get it. What is this thing? That thing is the most powerful device on the face of the Earth! I was designed by the creators of this valley to help construct and protect the shield. With it leading my army of dinosaur people, I shall be invincible. Then, nothing will stop me from taking over the world! Uh-oh. I only obey the activating unit. Hey, that's me! Oh, huh. well, in that case, King, I must destroy you. Thanks for saving my life. I was just doing my job. Good lord, what happened? My crystalline structure amplified the intensity of his weapon. Is that bad? It means that he now has powers equal to mine. I must stop him! <laughs> Oh my god! They're fighting! You gotta do something, Joe! Hurry! Before they kill each other! I'll try and get Frank in my sights. Here goes nothing. At the right. You've got to turn Fay back to normal. Okay, I'll give it a go. Yeah! Nice one, Joe. Sorry, Fay. Excuse me, Fay. Yes, Joe. I'd like you to turn your mirror around. What on earth for? So that when Frank deflects the ray, it will bounce off your mirror. Oh, I get it. Then I won't get zapped into a dinosaur. Okay, I'll give it a try. Thanks, Faye. Now to get Frank in my sights. Here I go again. Yeah! Well, that didn't do much good. Sparky sure does make a cute dinosaur. Yeah, but he's not much use as a Triceratops. Yeah! Feel so mellow. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe? I got an idea how to stop you from getting zapped by the dino ray. What's your idea? Do you want me to move? No, no, no. Put this mask on. Okay. Its shiny surface should deflect the beam. So just sit tight, little buddy, okay? What was that? Oh, sorry, Sparky. But you should have gone before we left.
Now to get him in my sights. Hasta la vista, Frank. You did it! You destroyed Dr. Einstein! I couldn't have done it without you guys helping me. I am awaiting further orders. I think it's best if we leave this place. Is there any way you can restore the valley shields? I could channel the energy from the crystal skull back into them, but the skull would have to remain here with me in the valley. That's not such a bad idea. It might just keep out crazies like Frank. I want you to do it. By your command. But what about the dinosaurs? We could make a lot of money out of them. Some things are best left in the past, Faye. Is it over? Did I miss anything? I'll tell you all about it later, Sparky. Okay, guys. Let's get out of here. Congratulations, King. It looks like you've saved the world. Maybe I was wrong about you, Joe. With Frank gone, the world is a much safer place. If only he'd used his powers for niceness, instead of evil. Look! The shield has been restored. The valley is safe again, but for how long? Don't worry, Joe. The Amazon jungle has been untouched for thousands and thousands of years. I'm sure it will remain untouched for thousands more. Well, Princess, I ought to be getting you home. But, Joe, I want to stay with you. Thank you.